Okay, we're now up to chapter four of this video series. And in this video, we are going to be adding in some very basic in-game marketing using uh, a news feature of PlayFab to display some dynamic messages in the game itself. Um, and so if you go to the uh, uh, um, game manager here, you can see a news tab, articles. This is where you can basically create and edit articles to appear in the game. So let's go ahead and edit uh, two articles for ourselves. We'll create one article saying something like, um, there's, uh, you know, uh, uh, remember how we changed the item of the, of the bundle to 190? Let's make an item saying it's a big sale. Big sale, big sale, uh, war bundle, now only 190 uh, for this weekend only. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, call that something like um, uh, big sale. Okay, and then save that. And you notice that it's actually showing us an unpublished item. Let's make that a, a published item, published. And let's do one more item actually. Let's go ahead and add a new one called something like um, welcome to the demo. Welcome to the PlayFab demo. Okay, and we'll mark this as published too. Okay, so we now have two articles that we've saved as being published. Uh, and now in the game, if we go back to Unity now, we have this uh, news prefab. I can drag this in now to PlayFab. And this news item is going to publish and show news in the game. So let's take a look at that. Let's hit play. Log in. Okay, and let's see. Has it, oh, there it is. So you see it just downloaded the news from the server and it popped right up. And you can see it's saying, welcome to the demo, welcome to the Angry Rats demo, and big sale, war bundle now on sale, only 190 for this week on. So there's, here are the two items that are just published in the editor now showing up in the game as kind of a, a pop-up. And, uh, and of course, you could put these messages anywhere. You're not limited to doing like a pop-up on login. You could also put them uh, in, the, in, in your store. You could put them as a message of the day. You could put them as an interstitial between levels. Uh, and you're also not limited to just text. I mean, right now, the only thing we let you edit in our current editor is text. Uh, but you could easily have as that text field, it could be a, a link to a, a URL for an image. And actually, in the next version of this tool we're working on now, we're going to make it very easy for you to upload graphics and then include those graphics as interstitials or things in the game, which is pretty cool. Um, let's take a look, actually. Let's go ahead and look at two things. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and look at, uh, actually, why. Uh, other, let's look at uh, what's going on, actually, in the code for this thing. So if I click on the news prefab and go to the script, you'll see exactly how it works. So right here in start, this is run uh, when Unity first loads up. Uh, it creates a request. Again, it's a, it's a get title news request. Uh, we're filling in count. We're filling in the number of items it should retrieve. Uh, and then we're calling get title news. And then on success, it's going to call the on news result function, which right here takes a, uh, passes in a, a result parameter, the get title news result parameter. Uh, and this is just going to be, if you, if you go and look at the documentation for this whole thing, let's go and look at, at the documentation for how this all works down here under get title news. So here it is. So we, you pass in, this is get title news is the function. You pass in a count for how many news items you want. And you can see the response is an array of title news items where each title news item is gonna be a timestamp, a news ID, a title, and a body. All right, those are the parameters. And so if you go back to our own code, you can see that we're, pa we're getting back this get title news result in, as a result. Um, we're setting news to result.news. And then in the this is where we're actually going to be drawing the news right here. And you can see as part of drawing, we're just going to loop through the, the, the count of all news items. And then for each one, uh, we're simply drawing here. We're drawing uh, the news title uh, and the news body, uh, as well as the, uh, the, the, the timestamp. And those are all the properties. Uh, that we're getting just right here from the title news item. So that's a good example of calling a function on PlayFab, getting data back into the game, and then showing that data, the data in the game. And of course, part of the fun of this is anytime I wanted to, I could go into my, my news manager and decide, okay, sales over now. 
I'm going to uh, uh, take that sale item, call that archive so it goes away, save uh, the article now so it's gone, go back to my uh, Wrangler uh, and set the price back from 190 back to let's say 220, save that, go into my game manager, upload the um, upload that uh, changed catalog file, and now go back into the game, and now we're going to see that the news item, the, the ad is gone, and the price is back to where it was before. Yeah, so the ad is gone in the news, and if I go to my um, my store, you'll notice the price is back to 220 now. So that's a good example of uh, of the system working as expected. Okay, so that ends chapter four. Uh, in the next chapter, we are going to add uh, we're going to do some uh, custom title properties. So we'll see how you can set uh, key value pairs on the game title itself and use them inside the game.